But when we talk about general concept of an individual that we know, see, when we talk generally, we say, yes, whoever abandons prayer is kafir. But when we want to pinpoint a person, this particular individual who doesn't pray in front of us, we cannot say that he's a kafir. Because there are conditions to be fulfilled. Maybe he prays when we don't see him. Maybe he prays on and off. Maybe he has a misinterpretation that he has in his mind thinking that it is not mandatory to pray. You never know. So we don't go and make someone kafir individually, a specific person, without fulfilling the conditions. And this is usually done by scholars or by the Muslim imam. That is the Muslim judge, the ruler. Now, having said that, it is not at all appropriate to label people for us. But I'm assuming this is a general question. 